and now we're on board with Prophecy. Let's see if they can actually get an early lead here. We'll see where they're spawning. You can see Prophecy in the right side of your screen. We're on board with Shane. Shane now with the MSMC. He's got the iron sights on that. Spots a player right off the bat there on the outside of the map. He's got a little bit of a support from his teammate. And now Shane is going to run into some action here. As he turns the corner, nice jump shot right there. But he gets taken out by Karma of Team Envious, who got the knife on him. And now we see here that Optic has taken the early lead, followed by Prophecy and Envious. And while we jump on board with the ladies, Mini for Vivacious Ladies is on a two-kill streak as she picks up a kill right there on Swanee. So the ladies are actually now in second place, pulling it together. We're still on board with Mini. And Mini gets taken out off spawn, now on board with Ruby. As they try to hang on here, Ruby taking out Twiz right there. She's packing the Scar H assault rifle, as well as a shock charge and some C4. Interesting choices on the class there. And the ladies are still in second place here. So Vivacious Ladies in second with eight kills. And as Ruby tries to climb the crate, she runs into Swanee, who takes her out. And now we see that Optic Gaming is still in the lead with 12 kills. Mainly in, in part by Mar Optic Merc. Optic Merc with five kills now. And here comes the Hellstorm missile from Merc as he fires it in, bursts it right into Gunshi and takes him out. So the R870 is still the choice here for Merc. The shotgun with the laser sight attachment. That laser sight gives him increased hit fire here in Black Ops 2. The only way to modify the statistics and attributes of your weapon are to add attachments. So that laser sight increases the hit fire. And you see Merc being a very, very sneaky player here. Knows that there's a player coming up the stairs and then comes back to take out Shane. What a great job by Merc there. Great heads up play. Increasing the lead for Optic to six now. And now Merc is calling in a He's calling in a care package there, <laughs> and he got challenged by Swanee. He just gave Swanee the just nasty business with that R870, and that care package has dropped down, and it looks like he's going to have a cop copter coming in. It's going to be a stealth helicopter, and he's going to go ahead and place that on the map with his data pack, and now Optic has extended their lead to seven kills. As we take a look here, it looks like Prophecy making another run, however, all on kill streaks. And we're going to swap on board with Swanee. Swanee gets taken out now by Karma off Envious. And Swanee is using the target finder here with a LMG. Interesting choice. We've got to appreciate what he's doing here. He's got lots of rounds. And it looks like Merc's copter just took him out. And now Swanee with a jumping shot. Beautifully done right there with the LMG. Dove to prone kind of. And... Uh, did it manually by just kind of sprinting, jumping, and going prone. Now the Dolphin Dive is back in Black Ops 2. We haven't seen much of it out of our players just yet, but I'm sure we will over the next couple of days as Swanee just decided to lay down on the trigger and it cost him right there. Now Optic Gaming still in the lead. It seems like Envious is having a little bit of trouble as they move into third place. So Optic now with 39 kills on the board. Prophecy with 34 kills. And we'll hop back on board with Twiz now from Team Envious as they try to claw back in this one. Twiz is on a nice kill streak right there. He's going to go ahead and leave that player who got away from him. Got a few hit markers. He's going to go ahead and call in a UAV, however. And he knows Swanee is around there. Takes out Swanee. One more player beneath him. Can he get the kill? Shooting from the hip with that laser sight attachment. But no, he gets drop shot by Kitty Cat from the Vivacious Ladies. Nice job by her to get that one. And now Twiz is going to go ahead and call in a Hellstorm again. And it doesn't look like he connected with that one. A player running around moved into a crate there and got away from him. But Twiz coming back in. Let's see if he can pick up a kill here. No, he does not. Gets taken out by Shane. We'll hop back on board with our leaders, Optic Gaming. Optic Ray on a four kill streak now. As he picks up a knife on Shane, he's known for the knifing. And as you notice right there, the knife is a little bit tougher here in Black Ops 2. It's a little more challenging. you got to make sure you're up close near your enemy. You don't quite get the lunge that you used to. It's a very nice addition here. It seems like a lot of the fans out there 
Uh, really kind of like this feature now, that the fact that the mic doesn't lunge as far. It was quite frustrating, you know, at, at moments. Could be uh, just such an integral part of the game, and now it's just a little bit tougher for you. We're winning this fight. So Ray moving in here into the office. Optic still in the lead, but Prophecy again is starting to come on late. 50 seconds left to go. They're only down by four. Ray picking up a kill right there on Karma of Envious. And why don't we hop on board with Prophecy and see what they can do. I'm going to jump on board with Gunshi because he ends, tends to go on that huge tear at the end of game. 35 seconds left to go. Gunshi with a shotgun still. And there you go. Gunshi picking up a kill. They're down by five now. 30 seconds left to go as Optic is trying to close this one out. Up by five kills. Now 25 seconds left to go. Gunshi going towards the office. It doesn't look like he's having the same luck that he was having. We'll jump back on board with Optic Ray here on a four kill streak. And it looks like Optic working together, moving together as a team. Ten seconds left to go. I surely can't see Prophecy coming back at this point. And it is going to be Optic Gaming who takes this one. Ray with the MSNC for the final kill. And Optic Gaming hypes up here in Cologne, Germany. <laughs> Big timer up on his seat, giving the crowd a little bit of love. 